Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Blessing again. Have you missed me? Because I've missed you too. Yes, I have. And if you haven't missed me, if you haven't missed me, it's because you're not subscribed. So let's just do the correct thing and subscribe to the channel, okay? Like I told you guys, I'm going to be dropping, you know, videos up until 2020. So if you haven't seen my last few videos, I'm going to link them up as the video goes on. And I'll also put them at the end of the video. So please make sure you, you check them out and watch those videos. Also, without talking too much, let's get into it. Today we're going to be talking about traditional Yoruba dishes. Now, everybody loves food, okay? Food is a staple and the Yoruba people are no exception, okay? We, we excel at a number of things and food is definitely one of those things that we excel at. So today I'm going to be giving you a quick brief rundown of some of the traditional Yoruba dishes that originated from the Yoruba people or are popularized by the Yoruba people or associated with the Yoruba people and I'll just give you short little snippets about them and also after each one I will show you a picture of what it looks like. So let's start with number one which is Wegiri. So according to my research, Begiri was first made or eaten in 1156 and it was made, first established, first tasted, however you want to phrase it, in Ibadan, which is Oyo State. And I say that with pride because I'm an Ibadan babe, okay? So yes, we are the propounders, the founders, the originators of the famous Begiri. Begiri is yellow in colour and the colour comes from palm oil. Begiri is yellow in colour and it's mainly used to eat amala and when you're eating with amala it's usually mixed with ewedu so ewedu is green so if you ever seen like the amala plate i'll show you a picture of the amala plate and then there'll be yellow soup that's begiri and then green soup that's ewedu and all together that's called abula so mostly when you're eating uh, begiri you'll be eating it with amala you can also use it to eat too i personally don't really like solo apart from eba so it's not, it's not my cup of tea, but people who go, who frequent Abula Sports or Amala Sports, they love this concoction of Ewedu Begri and Amala. It is a staple, okay? So if you're ever looking for a very, very traditional introduction into Yoruba the cuisine, then go to an Amala place or go to a Nigerian restaurant and ask that you be served Amala, Begri and Ewedu. And honestly... I can't vouch for it personally, but you'll be blown away from what everybody else thinks. <laughs> so the next staple dish, since we've already talked about it, its its um, associate, we might as well talk about it as well, is Ewedu. So Ewedu is um, a green vegetable. And what they do is they cut it up into very fine pieces and they either blend it or they mash it with broomsticks. And then it produces this very, very fine texture called Ewedu. Now, Ewedu can also, like I said, usually is eaten with Weguri and Amala, but you can really use it to eat any swallow of your choice. So if you don't know, we Yoruba, we're a very swallow heavy community, okay? We like um, Inyo, which is pounded jam, we, we eat Fufu, we eat Amala, we eat Eba, we eat, um, there's honestly no swallow that we do not eat. And so Ewedu is a swallow accompaniment. You eat it with your swallows now the third thing the third Yoruba staple is also a soup is a stew is a accompaniment as well but this accompaniment has a special place in my heart you know i don't even know why i didn't start with this okay when we talk about nigerian food this is my favorite of favorites okay and this one is a for rule now listen listen we don't play we don't play about our eforiru. And eforiru is made with, um, well, in England we make it with spinach, but you can make it with shoko as well if you're in, in Nigeria. You can make it with, um, there's a water vegetable as well. Anyway, it's made with green leafy vegetables. And the way it's prepared is you, first of all, you make spicy stew and your stew has to bang. So you make spicy stew. And then when the stew is cooked, you add the different meats. The kind of eforiru I like is the one that has like different lives. You know, you put um, beef, you put chicken, you put smoked turkey, you put um, dried fish, you put iwe, which I believe is gizzard, you put shaki, which is tripe. You put all the different kind of meats in the world. So the stew will like 
already be banging and you will now add spinach and then mix it together and it's just honestly what I tell you it's the best thing in the world it's the best thing and the best thing about it for you which is why it's number one in my books is that you can use it to eat anything like pretty much any swallow and it even transcends swallow you can use it to eat rice you can use it to eat indomie you can use it to eat yam you can use it to eat whatever the Whatever you want in this world, you can use Eforero. So, Eforero is a, a traditional Yoruba food. That being said, other tribes also have their own version of vegetable soup. So, we've talked about this. Listen, this is a Yoruba people food. If you ask anyone, you know, to, to name a food they associate with Yoruba people, they're going to say this. They're going to say it. It's Amala. Okay, now apparently when I was a young, a young, a young girl in the streets of Ibadan or your state, <laughs> apparently I used to wolf this down like it was no man's business. It was apparently my favorite food. As an adult, I don't like it. I don't like swallow generally, apart from ever. So I, I can't relate, but I trust my father. And if he says this was the thing for me as a child, then there must have been something in it and honestly everyone all across nigeria love amala whether you're yoruba or not so amala was according to my research first eaten in 1052 and it was first prepared by a woman called aduke and this was in the oshun local government so this was the time when shongo was still the alafi of oyo and around the time when oya was his wife so this was the first recorded time that amala was prepared now i believe there are four types of amala but i'm going to give you three okay <laughs> so there there the, the are different types of amala so amala is this is the general name for the food but there are different ways that you can arrive at that final product so number one there's amala ishu. so this one is where the the, the yam the yam flour is dried out and it's what you then use to prepare the amala and this one is when you have the brown amala so amara amala ishu is the most common the one that's brown and it's the one made from yam flour then there's amala lafu and there's amala ogede so amala ogede is when they use on ripe plantain so ogede means plantain and they usually use the green plantain for amala ogede so basically amala is of all the um of of swallows it's actually a very light swallow um but it makes you sweat and when my dad is eating it his head will be covered in sweat like i, I I don't have a clue why, but Amala makes you sweat. Anyway, yeah, so the most common food, as in the popular food that you use to eat Amala is Begiri, like I said, or you can throw in some Ewidu in there and you end up with Abula. Um, but really, you can use anything of your choosing to eat it. The next one is Asun. Um, I didn't discover it until I actually went to Nigeria recently. It wasn't something that we ate in my house, but... Asun is a lovely, okay, and it is native to the Ondo people. And basically what Asun is, it's goat meat, but it's prepared with the skin of the goat still on. So they um, smoke the skin of the goat to remove the hairs, and they leave the, the skin of the goat on the meat, and they prepare it in a very, very spicy tomato stew. And listen, it can be very, very spicy, okay, but that's how they like it, and it's intentionally done. Asun is goat meat that's cooked in a very spicy tomato sauce and it's 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 distinguished by the fact that it still has the skin of the goat on it. Asun is delicious. If you ever go to a Nigerian restaurant or you have the chance to try Asun, you should definitely try it. But just be careful because it's a it's a spicy it's a spicy dish. The next one is Ewa Goni. And if you live in Lagos, you will be 100% familiar with Ewa Agonyi. And Ewa means beans in Yoruba. So that's why we're calling it Ewa Agonyi. But the fun fact about Ewa Agonyi is actually that it's not even native to any Nigerian tribe. It actually came from Togo. So it actually originated in the Benin Republic. So there's a tribe of people in the Benin Republic called Agonyi people. And Togolese people and people from Kutonu actually brought it over to Lagos and I, I believe they brought it over in the 1880s and ever since then it's been a, become a very popular Lagos dish and so it's been referred to as Ewa Agoni which is the Ewa, the beans of the Agoni people. But Yoruba people have obviously come to be known for it because it became popular in Lagos where there's a lot of Yoruba people and then it spread to the rest of Nigeria. So Ewa Agoni is basically beans that's cooked extremely soft. So they make, they cook the beans in a very, 
very soft manner and then they make a specific spicy type of stew to go with it like the stew comes out very dark in color you put it on top of the, the ewa going in and you eat it like that okay some people eat it with agege bread and plantain and i can't even lie ewa going slaps <laughs> it's delicious okay if you're ever in lagos or nigeria and you get a chance you should definitely try it out it's just like beans that are cooked that they're almost mushy and then they're eaten with a special type of sauce it's really nice the next is something called akara and moi moi so akara and moi moi are technically two sides of the same coin they're both made of beans and they're both a certain type of bean cake and when i say cake i don't mean the savory kind of cake that you're used to eating it's a very um, the sweet cake that we're used to eating it's a very savory dish they're both savory dishes so they're both made of um blended beans but the difference is that akara is fried is fried bean cake whereas moi moi is steamed so in moi moi the way it works is you soak beans until they peel off until the the skin peels off then you blend it with um tomatoes with peppers with seasoning um then you can put fish they put like um fish in it they put egg like boiled egg sliced into it and then you steam it in a pot and when it comes out it's like a very the texture is hard to describe it's a very soft textured um dish it's delicious like especially if you get people that make it well moi moi bags okay but i've also tasted some very dodgy moi moi so you have to be careful and other tribes do their own versions but yoruba moi moi is delicious akara is is fried instead of steamed so it comes out more like um i don't know how to describe it i'll show you pictures <laughs> so people really really love akara and akara is usually taken with um pap um, in the mornings as breakfast in, in Nigeria whereas moi moi is more used as a side dish so they use it to complement rice or um, things like that when you go to parties but I like to eat moi moi with salmon oh, delicious I love moi moi so those are two more Yoruba dishes akara and moi moi and then the last Yoruba dish which to be fair I don't know that it's originated from the Yoruba people but we call it dodo and honestly we eat it with everything because it is delicious okay i can't tell you how delicious dodo is like you know fried plantain come on i don't need to do i don't need to tell you anything about fried plantain but fried plantain yummy we eat it with everything and then we also have boli which is roasted plantain and people spell it with an e it's not it's an i boli okay and which is where if you're if you um eat street food in your in nigeria then you'll see um, a plantain that is roasted on like a barbecue spit type of thing and it's delicious it's delectable they also eat that with nuts all right so that was a few of traditional yoruba dishes let me know down below if you've ever had any of them which is your favorite if you've never had of it which one would you like to try first and honestly if there is a nigerian restaurant near you i promise you go in and try one of these foods and you will honestly love it okay you will love it a lot of them are very delicious especially when cooked right okay i think in the new year if i can i'll try and make some cooking videos so you can really delve into yoruba dishes but that being said here are a few of our traditional yoruba dishes let me know what you think down below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video